everybody. It's a couple minutes before noon on Sunday, July 28th, I think. I think it's the 28th. Anyway, uh, I guess we could tell for sure. Hold on. Yeah, 28th. Um, I put a couple of final marks on these two paintings and they are finished. I'll give you some close-up shots here. And Bob is downstairs working on the cars, cleaning sap off the windows, updating the GPS maps in one of the cars. And I'm gonna catch up on the daily drawings because I didn't do yesterday's and I need to do today's. So we're gonna do that next. And it is Sunday, so I'm just gonna crochet and relax and yeah, sounds good to me. I'll be back. It is the end of the day on Sunday. Um, I did not anticipate doing any sewing today, but that's exactly what happened. I've been meaning to work on a pattern for a long time, and it is, I think, a simplicity pattern. Uh, yes, number 8172. Um, out of a couple different fabrics, it's been in a pile over here for a while. Um, the fabric I worked on it out of today is thrifted and I had just enough. The lace is thrifted, the cotton is thrifted. I did add some pockets and I think I'm going to put some ties or pleats or elastic or something in the back. I like the way that looks. And it's already got things going in my head about what to wear underneath it. I kind of want to go get some olive green double gauze and make a double gauze, double gauze sundress to go underneath it. Also probably with pockets. How cute would that be? Anyway, I didn't plan on doing any sewing today, but I did. <laughs> I know also got daily drawings and stuff cut up and Mr. got all the cars washed and everything. So I think I'm gonna clean the floors and wrap it up up here and then go downstairs. I think it's time. I'll be I think back. I said that there's been some delay in plans and we have Lily an extra day or two. Rebecca and Junior might be coming home tomorrow without daddy. Um, everybody got sick down there. Anyway, um, we are out with Crazy Pants, Grand Dog. Um, we are going to take her for a walk quick one and then come back and have some iced coffee and cake because you know some ice cream cake. <laughs> for you I'm just happy with iced coffee and cake and then I'm gonna do some crocheting because why not all right I'll be back Guys, it is Monday July 29th and um, it is 1 32 ish p.m. back to work Monday um, the kids are on their way home as of right now, I think I'm babysitting tomorrow, but we'll see since they've all been sick on and off while they've been away. So we'll see. I know my daughter has some real estate stuff she's got to do tomorrow if she's up to it. So there's that. Anyway, I got the vlog edited, loaded, and scheduled. So that's ready to go. I got today's daily drawings and journaling done. So that's ready to go. And got a few things up here cleaned up. I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of my afternoon. I'm either gonna sit and crochet. I really kind of, part of me would like to go out and go back to Plaza Resale and support them um, as they're getting ready to close, um, buy some more yarn to make donation stuff with. It's a great place to get that from. Um, I also have a $5 um, voucher at Michael's, but I don't have to do either of them today. I could wait. And I just kind of want to stay home, I think. So I think that's what's going to happen. So anyway, all right. I am going to sit and grab my crochet hook and some more of my tiny balls. And we will make some more of these little tiny hexagons. Because, yeah, I've been catching up, you guys. This, I only had a few done before I started working on this project hard to catch up. Um, and I have a bunch more of these to do. These are actually for a wearable. So um, I'm determined to get these made. Even if I don't get them sewn together right now, at least all the yarn I have for them will be up, uh, used up um, 
to make the hexagons and then whatever scraps I have left are in a bag and they will be used to sew them together. So I'm determined. I guess I better get back to work. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I ended up going out to Plaza Resale, um, the store by me that's closing um, because the owner's retiring, unfortunately. I mean, good for her. She's retiring. We're, we're all going to miss the store, though. Um, I got two and a half grocery bags jammed with yarn for $38. Now, any of you yarnies out there know, even with coupons and that, if I had gone to Michael's, I would not have been able to get that one, that much yarn for that much money. That just wouldn't happen. Regular price on um, Lion Brown Pound of Loves is like $12.99. I got two of those in that bag. So, <laughs> Yeah, I'm good for yarn now. I'm all stocked up for the coming season. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go home now, put it all away and do some crocheting until Mr. gets off of work and then we'll see. I don't know if the kids will be home before nine o'clock tonight. So I don't know if they're gonna get the dog tonight or um, are gonna want us to bring her over or if they're gonna wanna just wait until tomorrow. I have no idea, but we'll find out. I'll be okay, back. Okay, guys, it's the end of the day, Monday. The kids are definitely on their way home. They won't be back until late, though. So I'm guessing we have crazy pants one more day. No? Yep. Um, anyway, working on my continuing hexagon project. Um, can't make wearables or a blanket out of them until I get them all made, so that's a thing. Anyway. We're gonna go get some steps in, see what we can see. Maybe take some more flower pictures and then have dinner. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll be back. Okay, I'm listening to a video from um, She's Got Yarn, but it is 5.11 on Tuesday, July 30th, end of babysitting day. Um, Junior went home a little while ago. Um, he's not sick, but while they were gone, he had a bad allergic reaction to something and um, he didn't sleep well the whole time they were gone, all the things. So he was kind of a little crab monster, but I mean, you know, I, I still enjoy being with him even when he's crabby, but it was just tough to see, you know? So anyway, he ate well, he doesn't have a fever, but yeah, he's having an allergic reaction to something they don't know what. So we kept food things very simple and all of that. They're gonna check in with the pediatrician that's all you can do, right? So anyway, and they got back late last night. So they haven't been gone that long. And they're, as, she, as my daughter said, playing phone tag with the doctor's office. That's always fun. <laughs> all right. I am going to, I just did my daily drawings. So I am going to um, sit and do some crocheting while Bob gets off of work. I did some cleaning downstairs after Junior left. And we need to clean underneath the sofa, but I need help for that. So I'm going to do that when he gets off of work. I'm going to, um, we're doing something where I need to take some art supplies with me. So I'm going to use this bag. I um, used a Scotch guard on it to uh, stain and waterproof the fabric a little bit. That's always a good idea when you make a bag, um, especially if you're taking it in the car, on a plane, whatever. I'm not going on a plane, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to... I'm not gonna do that today because they need to come down and that one right there needs to go up. Um, but I have all day tomorrow to do that. I also wanna finish this jacket I started making tomorrow. Um, today, I'm just gonna crochet. And I got, um, you know, these little tiny mini skeins of yarn I've been collecting for a while now. I am down to the last few and I had a lot of them. So I, my goal before Friday is to get through the ones I have left. I'll be back. It is Wednesday, July 31st, and it's end of the day, it's 5.30. I didn't vlog yet because I've just been busy, not doing anything in particular. I did have a $5 Michaels voucher, so I went there I picked up a couple skeins of yarn, um, including Lion Brown Pound of Love in the color Thistle. It was on clearance for five bucks, so I got it free. Um, and then I came back and I've just been working on my hexagon project um, the rest of the day. I'm trying to get 
all of these little hexagons done before Friday or by Friday. Um, we're going out of town on Friday, so I'd like to get this done. I do have this Premier Fruits sock yarn that I'm doing the same kind of hexagons out of. This one's actually going to be a tank top. Um, but I'd like to switch to this because I've gotten this done. Um, I had, I think, eight balls to start with this morning. I only have two left. So I do think that I can get this done before Friday or by, b b before we leave. Um, if we can't, I'm just gonna bring it with me. I'm going to put whatever art supplies I'm gonna bring and probably my small tablet and my wallet into this little bag that I just made. So I'm gonna bring that in lieu of a purse. And yeah, I'm gonna give my wrists and hands and shoulders a little bit of a break right now and um, do a couple of the um, games on my tablet that I play on the daily puzzle brain games and um, wait for Mr. Day off of work and then go downstairs. I think that's a good plan. So I'm drink some more water because I haven't drinking enough water today because I've been crocheting. So why am I drinking water? I don't know, right? I'll be back everybody. It is just before 10 a.m. Thursday, August 1st, babysitting day. I don't know exactly what time Junior's coming over, but he's coming over at some point. Anyway, he hasn't been feeling good. He's had some teething and things like that. So, um, yeah, so anyway, um, I'm gonna check the mail and stuff like that. We're having our streets paved and um, this month in a week or so. So the streets are going to be closed for a period of time on a couple of different days. That's going to be fun. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning, August 2nd, 9.06 a.m. My birthday. I am 61 years old today, not afraid to say so. Yay. Um, we're headed out of town today. No problem telling you that because we'll be back before you see this. Uh, we're going to the beach for a couple of days for my birthday. Yay! Um, and we're leaving after Mr. gets off of work. We're also expecting a delivery today, which was supposed to be here yesterday, <laughs> but is hopefully coming today. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sit and drink some more coffee because I can. I'm having an extra cup today. Um, I'm gonna watch some videos on YouTube and just chill and relax. I've got a list of things to do before we go out of town, including replace the screen protector on this thing, because my phone, because I've dropped it a couple times and now it's cracked again. <laughs> so anyway, but I'm gonna just chill and relax for a little bit and I will be back. We are, yes at the beach again one of our favorite places we are here in seaside again at the four winds uh wait where are you there we go in of the four winds anyway for my birthday we came to the beach and now we're going to go for a walk maybe see if uh some place for dessert is open and get some steps in i'm working on a crochet tablet cover I'll put a picture here and it's the basket weave stitch I believe that's what it's called and I just eyeballed it I don't have a pattern for it at all but if you guys want one let me know we'll have to do it again it? I just did yeah oh. all right we're gonna go get some steps in I'll be okay, back so I was a little short there because it's crowded it's as my husband just said, baking in Portland. It's been 100 degrees for a few days now and um, at least two. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to be that hot, but it was. And over here at the beach, it's in the high 60s. Yeah, 65. So, and misty. And misty. It's so nice out, you guys. Uh, if I could talk him into moving here full time, that is exactly what would happen. I'm putting it on camera now. Crocheting at the beach? It sounds like a good idea to me. All right. I mean, yeah, walking on the promenade and seaside. Who wouldn't want to do that? Oh, yeah. 
seeing all the wildlife. He's like, why are you filming me? Like something. something. So you guys, do I look like I've had a rough night? Yeah, that's an understatement of the century. So evidently I got food poisoning last night. I don't know what time it kicked in, about midnight or so? It was three in the morning. Three in the morning, there you go. It was 3.12 when I woke and up. And it's after lunch now and I'm just kind of starting to feel better. So there's that, yeah. But at least we're in the seaside. I mean, we're you know, beach. we're at the beach and the view is just, yeah. you know, that. Can't say I'm too mad about that, but yeah. You can't complain about that. No, but wasn't what we expected. All right, I'll be back. Do I look like crap? I feel like crap. So my relaxing birthday weekend at the beach did not happen the way it was expected. I ended up with food poisoning late Friday night, early Saturday morning, and have been dealing with that the rest of the weekend. So, yeah. I didn't close the vlog when I should have because I wasn't feeling up to it. It is Sunday morning. I've stopped throwing up, which I guess is good. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is for sure that I ate, although Bob and I had pizza at a local pizza shop that we love, and we had different kinds of pizza. We had also dessert after somewhere else, but we had the same dessert, so I'm guessing it was the pizza or something on the pizza. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just trying to get myself together enough today that we can go home, and I cannot throw up or anything else in the car on the way, because, yeah... I mean, when you're too sick to crochet and you're creative or draw or anything, you know it's bad. And I'm having trouble just getting out of bed. So anyway, it's been an interesting week, that's for sure. I hope you've had a better end to your week than I did. And uh, that you find a few minutes every day to do what you love and be with those that you love. Don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links and to... Leave questions, comments, or concerns down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And above all, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.